Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm doing a super fun look. I was inspired by your recent purchase that I made, which if you've seen my haul, my last haul video, you will know that I got the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in a go-go. And I'm so in love with these lip liquid lipsticks, like I'm just obsessed. And I wanted to create a look inspired by not only the lipstick but the packaging as well. So I did a orange and black and white look. It's mainly orange, you know, just a little bit of orange, not too much, you know, just a little subtleness. Um, this would be really great for Halloween if you're taking the little ones out trick or treating or you're going to a party, you know, whatever um, fun things you might be doing. Or just, you know, going out to the club, going to get groceries, going to church, you know, you know, simple things. Um, but I really had fun with this look. Um, I don't think I'll be making any more Halloween tutorials this month just because it's so close to November and I've been so busy planning my trip to Vegas next month and well it's pretty much next week um, and it's, I've just had a lot going on work and life is just not my friend and I know I said that in a lot of videos but it's really been tough lately um but i'm going to try to get some videos filmed for you guys for when i do go to vegas next week and um yeah so if you want to know how i got this orange a go go inspired look please stay tuned so first thing i'm going to do is apply a primer so the eyeshadows are bright and vibrant and i'm going to be using my mary Kay eyelid primer this stuff is amazing it has a slightly tacky base so it helps the eyeshadows adhere a lot better and a lot longer now i'm going to be taking a bright orange and i'm going to be sketching out the shape of the cat eye that i want um i have the sleek um, Ultra Mattes palette and I'm going to be using this bright orange color so I'm using a really fine tip brush this is just a paint brush from the craft store and I'm gonna start sketching out the shape that I want and then I'm just going to take a separate brush and pack on the color I'm gonna run it just a little bit under my lash line but I'm not gonna go right next to my actual lash line I want to create a bigger eye effect so I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit now once I have gotten the shape I want I'm going to be taking a eyeshadow. I'm just going to be using the Urban Decay eyeshadow in Sinful, I believe, or it's either Sin or Sinful. Just a shimmery, like champagne y color. And apply that under the brow. I'm not going to blend out any harsh lines, but I just want to kind of make it more defined and crisp. Now for the liner, I'm going to be using my. Aurora Intensely Precise Eyeliner in just Blackberry and I'm going to be drawing a cat eye and then extending it on the inner portion and on the lower lash line as well. make the inner part of my eye a lot brighter and a lot wider I'm going to be using the Jane water resistant eyeliner in pure white and I'm gonna set that with the matte white eyeshadow in my um, sleek palette I'm gonna add 
have just a couple coats of mascara just using the Urban Decay Super Curl. And then I'm going to apply some wool lashes. And the lashes that I'm going to be using today are from Oh My Lash. And they are part of the um, Sophia. Uh, they are part of the Sophia set. Um, they are the top ones. They're really wispy and fun and spiky. And I thought they would be perfect with this look. Now I'm going to be adding just a little bit extra. You do not have to do this. You can just go with what you have. But I'm going to add just a bit more. So I'm putting a little bit of lash glue. And then I have these like sequined hearts that are super cute. I'm just going to apply one under my eye. Now for the entire reason I created this look, the lips. I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in a Go-Go and I am so in love with this. It's just so beautiful. And that is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. I'm sorry it's not a Halloween tutorial. Um, I might not get to do any more this month just because things have been super crazy and I'm going to Vegas next week. So I've just been super busy planning everything and getting everything ready. So I do apologize that I only had a few out this year. But a lot of my tutorials can be used for Halloween. So you know, you can go back and look at all of my crazy tutorials. You know, just the ones that I have natural makeup, you know. Um, and try them out. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and supporting my channel. I know I've been a little bit out of it lately and I apologize, but I'm going to try to get back into the swing of things. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll talk to all of you later. Bye!